Welcome to WD Toys. Wow, guys, it's great to see you again. I'm so glad you came back. We're going to have another awesome toy opening today. Today we have another toy from Disney Pixar's The Good Dinosaur. And this is the Arlo animated talking Arlo with Spot. This guy is huge, and he talks, and he's animated, his neck moves, his mouth opens, but it is exclusive to the Disney store, so if you want to buy this guy, you have to get him from the Disney store, and he also comes with the spot, who he has like a, uh, he's got like a knob on his back, and spot fits right into that, and guys, this one, I'm just going to review the toy, if you wait till the next one, he's going to come Face to face with ferocious dinosaurs from Jurassic World. Wow, that's going to be a good one. If you wait till there's a little uh, like card that opens up in the right hand corner that you could click on to go to the next one. Or if you wait till the video ends, there's an end card there. You could click on my playlist and go to the next one because they are in order. Okay, here's a look at the back of it. It says, Arlo speaks 11 phrases. It's got a sculpted spot. Arlo's neck bends. And it's got motion-activated stomping sounds. And guys, for $25, this one is a good buy. I mean, the size of it and all the different features it comes with. I mean, here is my hand here. So you can see just the body of him. It's the size of my hand. So this is a really good size figure. Let's go ahead and open it up and have some fun. Okay, let's go ahead and free him from the package. You just got to cut these wires here or else open it up and unwind the wires. But here he is free from the package. Then let's go ahead and free spot. And we have to get his tail. His tail is separate in the package because it doesn't fit. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and put him together. I mean, this is his tail here. It's got like a, like, spots there. And you like put it in there like this. And then you're going to turn it and it'll snap into place. Guys, this is the biggest and coolest Arlo I've ever seen. I mean, you can see here is the size of my hand. But he is exclusive only to the Disney store. So you can't buy this at Toys R Us or Target or any other store. Okay, we're going to start. We're going to first go ahead and take a look at Spot. And like I said, if you stay tuned, he's going to... They're both going to come face to face with some ferocious Jurassic World dinosaurs. That will be awesome. Okay, they did a really good job on Spot 2 for an extra figure for this set. I mean, if you can see the detail, I mean, the coloring is awesome. I and mean, take, take a look at the coloring on this guy. Even his eyes and everything. I mean, this is the most detailed spot I've seen. I mean, he does have a screw hole there, but that's the only screw hole I see on this guy. And, I mean, you don't really see it because he's going to be on the back of the dinosaur. And then here is a side view of him. And this is a good size spot too. I mean, he's a really, really playable. I mean, here he is in my hand. So he is a good size. And I mean, his, it's made out of like plastic, but it's a very solid plastic. I really like it. And he's got his little leaves covering him. And his arms and legs are articulated. For a character that sits just on top of the dinosaur, I was really impressed by that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Arlo now. Like I said, this guy is big. We're going to first go ahead and go around him. Then we're going to take a, we're going to listen to his voice. 
the stomping sounds and the articulation. So we're going to start right here on the side of him. Here is a side view of his face. His mouth does open and close. We'll take a closer look at that. I mean, they did a really great job with the coloring on him with the dark light dark and light greens I mean blending like three or four different greens together you can see his uh, his legs are gonna have full articulation and his feet are gonna move they did a really good job coloring his nails I mean for a comical character dinosaur I mean they did a great job coloring these guys I mean I really like it and then here's a back view of him you can see his stripes there is spot sits on top of that there is the action button for his voice really good at jobs. and we'll go down his tail and then we'll take a look at the other side of him and I mean they did a good job with filling up the screw holes you can see there which they did not do on most of the Jurassic World dinosaurs, which is a real shame. Because they would have made them a lot nicer. And then there is his neck. He's got like little holes here, which I can't figure out what that is. And then let's take a front look at him. <laughs> Good old lovable Arlo. I really like these good dinosaur figures. I mean, they are a lot of fun. I mean, look at that. You could stretch his mouth all the way open. It's like rubber, his neck and his head. So, I mean, I, I like the fact that they put teeth even on the top there. Okay, let's go, t let go ahead and take a look at his features. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start with his mouth. Like I said, it does open and close and then since it is rubber and plastic the top is rubber the bottom is plastic you could stretch it all the way out like that so it looks <laughs> it looks almost like a snake's mouth inside and then going down we're gonna go ahead and put spot spot has a hole on the bottom there so he fits right in there and I mean he's secure on the back of Arlo I mean you could shake him and he's not going anywhere and then let's take a look at the movement on Arlo's legs so his legs have really good movement I mean you could stretch it out like straight there and then it stops like right there and then his feet have good movement too and then his front leg could be stretched all the way out so, I mean, you could put him in really, some really cool poses. I mean, this is one of the poses I like. I mean, he won't stand in this pose because he is a little front heavy. But this would be good for, like, uh, dinosaur action battles. You could have him stand here and, like, hit the dinosaurs with his leg. So, that that's really cool, too. And, I mean, there's just... <laughs> There's just so many different positions you could put this guy in. I mean, you could stretch him all the way out like that and have him basically, like, sit down on the ground like that. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and listen to his voice. He does have 11 different phrases, so we're going to go ahead and listen to all of them. Thanks for staying with me. So there he must be talking to Spot. Spot! If I did it, Spot, there's home! Yay, home. I sure appreciate you looking out for me. Again, he must be talking to Spot. We're almost there, Spot. I can follow the river home. How'd you get your scar? There he must be talking to Butch, because Butch has a lot of scars. I can take it. I'm not really good at jobs. Spot can sniff out anything. Good boy, Spot. Thanks for staying with me. Spot! And that's pretty much... All 11 of them. I did it, Spot. And then, then let's go take ahead and take a look at his stomping action. Here is what his stomping action sounds like. It, it doesn't do it every time you stomp. It just does it like every like third time. So let's try it. Okay, now it's doing it more regular. I guess you have to keep the feet 
like totally flat. So I really like that too. Well guys, that's all the features of it. I, like I said, I'm totally impressed with this guy for $25. I mean, I, I bought all of the Jurassic World dinosaurs and the $25 dinosaurs in Jurassic World do not compare to this guy. This guy is much better. Oh, also I forgot to show you his neck. His neck is bendable because it's like a... It's pretty much all rubber. So, I mean, you could, like, have him bend down and eat stuff or reach up and grab stuff from the trees. Or even if he's, like, fighting another dinosaur, he could, like, swing his neck side to side. And here he is in size comparison to the Thrasher T-Rex from Jurassic Park. So, you can see, I mean, he is as big as the Thrasher T-Rex, which is awesome. What do you guys think? I mean, I think this is the best Arlo I've seen so far, and it would be really hard to beat this guy. Well, guys, let me know which one of the good dinosaurs is your favorite. And like I said, I mean, watch the next episode to see him come face to face with some very scary dinosaurs. And we will see who will be victorious. Wow, guys. That was so much fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you wait till this video ends, there's an awesome end card. A lot more fun videos with Jurassic World and Peppa Pig and Minions and Star Wars and Good Dinosaur. Well, I hope to see you soon.